Hello, my name is Bing, and I'm an assistant professor of international law at Zhejiang University, China. I would like to talk about my article published at the Journal of East Asian and International Law. The topic of my paper is Is dumping still harmful? New thinking on de dumping in the global free trade. One of the most common problems that we encounter in the international trade disputes is the anti dumping investigation, particularly its protectionist abuse. As this abuse has become more severe, there is a need to explore anti dumping law's fundamental justification. In my research, I re examined the fundamental justification of anti dumping law and its possible substitution by competition law, in particular, its rules on predatory pricing. Aside from a short introduction as part 1 and conclusion as part 5, the rest can be divided into three main parts. Part 2 of my paper briefly describes the debate on anti-dumping and competition in WTO. My severe in the WGTCP documents identifies three main viewpoints on the justification of anti-dumping law. The first one is that anti-dumping is to eliminate predatory dumping aimed at monopolization. The second one argues that anti-dumping helps to protect against unfair trade, which is resulted from various market distortive government industrial policies. While the third considers that anti-dumping functions as a quasi-safeguard measure to mitigate the effects of different economic structures. Following that, part three of the paper tries to think the truth of why dumping is harmful, which is still a very controversial issue. This paper is of the opinion that the only rationale of anti-dumping law is to deal with international predatory pricing, which can also be regulated under competition law by its rules on predatory pricing. While the argument based on the need to prevent unfair trade are deceptive and hypocritical. Furthermore, the anti-dumping system is not aimed at and cannot quantify as a protective mechanism which is controllable and necessary for the global free trade. Given that both anti-dumping law and the competition law target the same anti-competitive practice, the question arises whether or not dumping would be more appropriately regulated by competition law. This issue is discussed in part 4. A careful comparison leads to the impression that predatory pricing rules are more meticulous than anti-dumping laws. Hence, I would favor that anti-dumping law should be substituted by competition law. However, taking practical difficulties into consideration, anti-dumping is not likely to be abolished soon. Therefore, this paper concludes with a proposal to gradually achieve substitution. We can first implement it in RTAs and then take it to WTO level. As a first step, incorporating a market share test or giving more weight to consumer interest deserves further consideration. Although it is a relevant, modest change, it could be the stepping stone in a series that would eventually lead to the disappearance of anti-dumping law. Thank you.